Hello there, and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build uh, an automated kelp farm, like the one just behind me. Let's go. Very quickly before I get in, this farm was built by Sirius Blue. I will post uh, a link to his channel down in the description. The materials you'll need to build this farm are as follows. 28 glass, a stack and 21 of any building blocks, 6 pistons, 2 water buckets, 18 kelp, 6 redstone dust, 2 chests, or however many you want for a storage system, 1 hopper, or again, however many you are going to want for the storage system, 6 observers, and then 3 temporary building blocks and 6 temporary half stabs. Very quickly, before we get into uh, the full thing, uh, it is highly recommended that you build this farm within one chunk. Uh, the best way to uh, work out where your chunk borders are is to hold down F3 and G. As you can see, this farm right here is all built within one chunk. First thing that you're going to want to do is use your 28 glass to build a 7x4 wall. So, 7 across and 4 high. Then, take your building blocks and build 3 back from the front glass wall on both sides. Then, build 7 blocks across the back bottom of the build and place 6 pistons like this. Remember to leave this last block uh, free of pistons. After you've done that, take your six observers and place them facing so that uh, the power is going to come out in this direction, so the face side of the observers should be facing the glass wall. Then you can fill in the empty space in the back wall, like this. After you've done that, you can take your two uh, water buckets to make an infinite water source, like so. This block here is now an infinite water source. If I grab a bucket, you can see that I'm able to draw from it infinitely. Anyway, now that you've done that, place water like so, uh, just in front of the observers. Once you've done that, place your three temporary building blocks in the gap just after your observers and pistons. Then fill up the space of water with your kelp. Now, what this should do is convert all of the water blocks to water source blocks. Then take six of your building blocks, place them along the pistons like this, and then uh, six of your redstone dust along the back of your observers like that. What you should be able to do now is break one kelp and all the rest will break with it. Now what placing in all 18 of your kelp was supposed to do is convert all of the blocks here into water sources, however for some reason that's not working for me. Uh, all of these blocks need to be water sources, so what you need to do is manually place in water buckets like this, if that doesn't work. Now hopefully, these should begin to float upwards. Yes, good. Now what you can do is take six uh, temporary half slabs, place them along the top of your observers, like so. Place in one more water source just there. And now break all of your temporary blocks. Next, place in the last of your building blocks along the top here to make a roof. This ensures that no kelp will uh, spill out the top. Uh, so hopefully uh, this should be a completely spillage free farm. Now the final thing to do is to place in your storage system. So place in a chest just uh, underneath these two glass blocks, or if you want to do your storage system a different way, then uh, don't do that, don't listen to me. Uh, but to collect the things from your farm, what you need to do is shift click a hopper into the back of this chest. Basically, there needs to be a hopper in the gap just there, just after your kelp. Because what that's gonna do uh, is it's gonna collect all of the kelp that gets shot up here, along here, and then falls down here. Hopefully the kelp should collect in this large chest. 
All right then, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful to you. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to like, maybe subscribe for more content like this. Uh, some more uh, redstone tutorials, create more tutorials. Might even go back to my survival let's play at some point. Uh, but yeah, uh, once again, I'm going to leave a link down to Sirius Blue's channel in the description, considering he is the original maker of this farm. But um, yeah, no, apart from that, don't have anything else to say. So I'll leave you with this. Bye.